previously. Let's play Suikoden in 2. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he burned me. Oh, dang it. What the heck? Uh... Oh, this is bad. Bad news. Hmm. God, how many moves does he get per turn? Dang it. Oh. Oh, please survive this. No, 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 that... I hate this fire attack. Freaking hate it. Uh-oh. Looks like it's time for a mass heal. No, no, no! You don't get three of those! No, son of a... No, you freaking... Oh, my... And now, the conclusion. We can't let him escape. Let's go, Edmund. Okay, let's... Okay, let's use up crappy medicines. Wait, does anyone have a crappier medicine? Okay. We're gonna do some healing. Hmm. Okay, let's use up Nanami's crappy medicine. Okay, that's good. Now, she has to have a good medicine. Um, let's give her this one. Okay. Does anyone else have substandard medicine? Yeah, you got rag crappy ones. Do I have anything better than leather cape I could give him for defense? Oh, a wing ornament. I could have given that to... What's his name? Well, too late now. And uh, Luke really should have had the magic ring. Uh, what's this Bolt of Wrath business? Maybe I should have used that. Oh yeah, I should have put this on somebody's weapon. I'm really... Um, ...non-ideally set up, aren't I? Okay. No, none of that regular medicine, we don't want that. And someone whose medicine's got less than three uses, like you, for example. Alright. Well, here we go. Here goes nothing. I won't let the state have Lord Luca. Ah, oh, it's just these wimpy guys. You can handle these. I'm not going to waste my magic on them, that's for sure. Um, let's see if he's got his stuff back. No, he doesn't. Yeah, this is kind of a problem, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I'm not going to use this on Luca because it's a waste, so let's just see what the animation looks like. Oh, I wish there was a way to swap Luca out because he's kind of spent. You get attacked by a mini tailed squirrel or something. No, I did more than the 50 promise damage, so it's not quite as bad as it looked, but still. Okay. Get him, boys and girls. Okay, Humphrey, let's catch you up on the experience you missed. Uh-oh. Don't let the state have Lord Luca. Well... Tough. You're so pathetic, I'm not gonna even bother with you. Oh, 
only there was some kind of ether or some sort of magic revive item to get Luke's stuff back. Although maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just fighting these crappy. Did I miss a treasure chest? I feel like I saw something back there, but maybe it's just my, probably just my imagination. Yeah, you, you. Tree that has a glowing thing on it. I can't die here. Have I really lost? Damn, you think I'm afraid? You think I fear death? Sure is a stupid emotion. Eh, what? A wooden amulet. What's this doing here? And what's that light? Hmm, is this a cover? It's fireflies. There are fireflies inside. What kind of joke? Whoever it was, they'll pay for this. How stupid. It's not even worth taking. Stupid. This whole world is just stupid. Light. What's that? Shoot. Yeah. I've caught you, Luca Blight. Now you're finished. Finished, you say? <laughs> what are you saying, Maggot? What are you squealing about, pig? I've got the power to take your life, boy. Lord Luca. Lord Luca, hurry, escape. Lord Luca. Arrows away. My, my holy war. Don't interfere, you scum. Here, here I come, Edmund. Edmund. Please let, tell me I get my magic stuff back for this last battle. Oh, wait. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Pig, die. It looks like I got kind of a bigger starting health bar. So there's that. Okay, he says, pig die. That means he's going to do a wild attack, so I'm going to defend. Yep, I guessed that one right. Uh-oh, Luca Blight, this is not going to look good for you. Wild attack was a failure, and he died, like, on the first hit. And Edmund throws side-eye at the camera. <laughs> oh, God. You're, you're okay, Edmund. I don't have the power to swing my sword anymore. Edmund, why do you fight? Why do you wish to destroy me? I mean, it can't possibly be because I burned down all those towns and killed all those people and been generally a jack beep the whole damn game. It couldn't possibly be that the reason. Hmm. Tend this war. Tend this war. That's a fairy tale. It's a foolish child's dream. Even if you kill me and defeat Highland, you won't have peace. You'll have a defeated country screaming for our vengeance. Is he really trying to do a Jesus pose? <laughs> excellent, excellent. The rumbling in my body, the thirst is scorched in my flesh. It's disappearing. <laughs> Listen, Edmund, it took hundreds to kill me, but I killed humans by the thousands. Look at me. I'm sublime. I'm the true face of evil. And my throat gets a reprieve from doing that voice anymore. <laughs> so it's finally finished. Did we did we finally win? Hmm. Oh. All right, Edmund, let's go back. We won, and there are a lot of people who are waiting to hear news of our victory. But oddly enough, the music does not sound very victorious. So I'm guessing there's more. Yep, and I'm right, because there's Joey, who I have long suspected is the true end boss of this game, and I bet he actually is. Is that what you wanted? Yes. 
It's what I always hoped for, and I want to believe I'm brave enough to accept fate. To accept fate, rather. Yeah, Joey's the real... He's the real villain of this thing. Luca Blight is... Ah, uh, Luca Blight is the the Emperor Jestal to Joey's Kefka. And the fireflies are flying off into the heavens. And so endeth the scourge of Luca Blight. You did it! You did it! We knew you could do it, Lord Edmund. You did it, Edmund. You're really terrific. You beat those highland bombs! Great job, Edmund! Great job! Velika, sweetie! We won! Edmund won for us! Edmund, oh! What happened? Edmund, hey, Edmund! Let me take a look. Whew, he's okay. It looks like he just fainted. He must be exhausted. Carry him to his room. I'll take care of him. Hmm. Okay, so... What's going on here? Oh, Joey's getting married to the princess. Ah, and he manipulated the whole thing so he could become the emperor by marrying the princess. I wonder if he'll bump her off next just so he holds the soul power. What a jerk. In the name of the ruler who holds the circle rune and the guardian who holds the beast rune, we hereby accept a shining new flame into the Blight family. This is the lamest wedding speech I've ever seen. Joey Blight, Julia Blight, we are here to record the vows made between you this day. Oh, his character picture has changed. By my body and by my soul, as the guardian of this place, as a knight and as a subject, I pledge to serve Julia Blight. And once again, the music has this strange sort of uh, dissonant thing going on, saying that this is not right, this marriage is all wrong, shouldn't be happening, and nothing good is going to come of it. And Julia is using, you know, she's going to say, Pilika's catchphrase. What is it? <laughs> by my body and by my soul, a successor of the Blight family lineage, I take you, Joey Blight, as my husband. Furthermore, I confer upon him the title of King of Highland, and I pledge to serve him the rest of my natural days. And this is totally not going to be a mistake at all. I pray that you too shall find happiness as you walk together on your new path in life. Oh, the swords come out. It's a 21 sword salute. Happiness on my path, eh? <laughs> oh, you, you rotten little scumbag, Joey. What is coming next from you. Headquarters. Um, he's not on me. Good morning, Edmund. Did you sleep well? I'm so scared when you suddenly passed out like that. Well, you've been resting in bed and drinking my soup for a whole week now. And as you know, Bob, you've been drinking my soup for a whole week now. <laughs> you must be feeling better, right? Apple told us that the Highland army has withdrawn, so does that mean that this war is finally over? <laughs> okay. Not me. The worry board has joined the party, and the game's not over, so I'm guessing the terror has not passed yet. Hey, look, it's Stallion. What are you doing here? Following me all around. Oh, I see. He runs around in circles. Huff, huff, huff. I had no idea there was so much wide open space around here. <laughs> well, there's not as much wide open space as you apparently want there to be, because you keep running into people. Oh, 
Oh, Lord, Edmund, this is wonderful. All the thoughts of battle just disappear from my mind. Whew. This is a beautiful flower. Meanwhile, this guy keeps running into my face. Go away, guy that runs into my face. Humphrey says blank, 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 blank. Okay, uh, it's a nice and sunny day. Just the day for a nap. Okay, um... Wait, let's just take the elevator. I don't remember which one of these goes to the right place. Well, that was an eventful episode. Jeez. Oh, suggestion box. No letters. Okay. So let's go and uh, save. Saving on to the memory card. Do not touch the memory card. Now we're just going to do one thing before we quit, and that's going to be check for a cooking contest, because I bet there is one. There usually is. Let's just cap it all off with a cooking contest. We're going to have a Luca Blight on a hamburger bun. Mm -hmm. Okay, what ridiculousness have you got for me this time? Hey, yo, get a hold of yourself. You've got to make a new menu on this restaurant, Will. That's right, hi -yo. I don't know what happened, but we're counting on you. It's no good. I just can't cook after something like that happened. Don't say such things. I'm giving up cooking. <laughs> you give up too easily, Hayo. You need more trading. Give up? What do you give up? You won every single one of these things so far. We finally meet again after all this time, and now I hear that you're quitting cooking. <clears throat> That's very contrived. It makes no sense either. If you give up over something like this, like what? I don't get what he's giving up over. It makes no sense. Uh, you must not have had enough training. What exactly is the issue here? I don't even understand. It's no good! I don't care about any stupid old Moonbird recipe! What do you mean, Hayo? You risked your life to steal the Moonbird recipe, and what about Shun Min? Think about her. Think about why she went to the trouble to get you that recipe. Shun Min! Come, Hayo, a cook-off between you and I. Lord Edmund, please let us use your castle, and hopefully no one will die this time. Although you never know. Hello, it is I, annoying announcer guy with the Vuvuzela on my lanyard, and surprisingly, I don't have black eyes yet, and I haven't been beaten into a paste. First, I'd like to introduce Templeton. He will be a great dad someday. At first, he's quick to say everything is delicious. He's freed. Uh, there must have been some rough meals for Edmund growing up. Let's hear it for autonomy. <laughs> oh, all you're going to do is insult people. Oh, what? What do you mean? Oh, that, that was not me. Huh? What? What do you mean? He's a powerful sorcerer with a good face, but a bad personality. His luck knocked pupil Luke, and he's not going to tell me anything about what any of them are going to like. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's just get all this stuff over with. Freaking. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty funny the first time, but it's getting old. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, let's just do something I haven't done yet, I guess. I haven't made buttered clams yet. Now let's make them salty. No, actually, wait. Oh, that, that's grilled scallops. Scallops are good, though. What do you do if you put site abalone? I don't know what abalone is. Um, the rest of that stuff would be kind of gross. Let's, let's make them scallops. That's good. Main course. I guess I'm doing uh, fish. What is ohitashi? I don't know. I think somebody told me what it was a while ago, and then I forgot. But, you know, let's do it. I haven't made it before. Let's put soy sauce on it. Spinach sauce. Oh, it's a, it's a... Okay. You know what? Let's do this the other way around. Let's do the... Let's do spinach saute, and then let's do scallops for the main course. And then the dessert. 
I don't know. Let's see. I got. I still only have two options for dessert, don't I? I've got ice cream and cake. None of this other stuff makes any sense. I mean, I could make something totally gross, like fish with sugar. Simmered carp, yuck. <laughs> uh, wonder what happens if I put sugar on a fish fry. Fish donuts? <laughs> that sounds terrible. Cream pie. Cream pie? Hey, cream pie! Although, I mean, I'm a little suspicious that the meat might still be in there. Clam pudding. Ugh, yuck. Sweet omelet. Oh, that doesn't sound bad. Tomato juice. Ugh. Spinach cake. Nah. Sweet salad. Maybe that makes a fruit salad. That might be kind of good. Fruit goza. Mm. Potato pudding. Yuck. Sweet bean bun. That's not so bad. As long as the meat's not in it anymore. Snack tempura. <laughs> Kitty pasta. Yuck. Shortcake. Sure. Let's see what kind of cakes I have. Cake. Uh, shortcake. Nonami cake. Oh, Nonami cake. Well, there we go. That's the, that's it. All right. All right, let's do the button mashing. Ready, button mash. Da, 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 da. I swear, Vuvuzela guy. I'm going to take that Vuvuzela and I'm going to... Shove it right up your hindquarters. If you blow that thing in my ear one more time. Like Templeton, he's gonna take a map and shove it straight up your butt. See how you like that. Jerk. Now look at that guy. I mean, really. I'm just asking for a, you know, attitude adjustment. Looks like they finished cooking all three dishes. First, let's see what our judges thought of the Challenger's appetizer. Soy culés. Did they mean cutlets? I don't know. Oh, uh, they loved it. Great. Okay. Now let's see how they judge the champion's appetizer. Spinach saute. Oh, I'm losing. Great. Oh. Ramen. The main dish is ramen. Okay, I gotta beat that. Are you serious? You freaking gave a five to ramen. I wonder which packet it was. Was it the beef flavored one? Was it the shrimp flavored one? All right, the champion's main dish. Grilled, grilled scallops have to beat ramen. Come on. Oh, great. He just loves everything. I'm still losing. Nike. Well, hopefully Nanami likes the Nanami cake. Spicy sandwich! They, okay, I'm hosed. I'm hosed. I'm not going to win this round. Finally, let's see how they like the champion's dessert. Nanami cake. Nanami, you'd better not let me down here. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I lost that one. Ay, 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 ay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's see what happens if you lose one. Might as well find out, huh? Um. Hmm. He had fun even though he lost. Well, I don't know, maybe... But I don't know, I've been warned that you lose one of these, it ends the cycle. Although, even though it doesn't look like that's what's happening. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it safe. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try that again. If I don't win it this time, I'm going to just stop the episode and continue it on the next one. Okay. <sighs> I 
Okay, okay. Oh, I know why. It's because that guy killed himself. That's what that's what the deal was. He wants to stop because some guy shot himself after losing to him in the cooking battle. I guess that is actually fairly understandable, isn't it? Now that I think of it. I guess the... The ridiculousness of this uh, whole situation is getting to him a little bit. Okay, we got a different set. Oh, Nanami's still in there. Okay, well... I could try making that Nanami cake again, but... Um, that didn't work too well last time, so... Japanese food. Okay. Japanese and spicy inside. Okay. See, this is more up my alley. Okay, I can win it this time. Alright, I'm not going to make the Nanami cake, though, because every everybody hated it, and Nanami didn't even like it that well, so... What's the point? Okay, it's Japanese stuff. We're going to make spicy gyoza. Um... Is gyoza Japanese, or is it, like, Korean or something? I don't know. Whatever. It's, like, going to be good. Then we're going to do spicy tempura. Did that work last time? I think so. Yeah, spicy tempura, and then a spicy cake. All right. All right. Button mash! Button mash! Button mash! Button, button mash! Button mash, button mash, button mash, button mash, button mash, stop blowing that damn thing in my ear. I'm gonna go and kick your butt. I'm gonna blow a damn Vuzela in your ear. Or maybe I'll get a goddamn microphone. Maybe I'll get a freaking, I don't know even what's loud enough. Blast death metal music straight into your freaking face. Da -dee -da -dee. Da -da -da. Soy sauce ramen. It's ramen again. They did not like the ramen this time. Okay. Now, spicy gyoza. Come on, guys. Oh, you freaking ass. <laughs> How can you... Who doesn't like a spicy gyoza? <sighs> ramen. Okay, it's just ramen time, I guess. Everyone freaking loves ramen. Lovely. <sighs> Come on. Spicy tempura. Yes! You liked it. Good. Okay, spicy cake. Yeah, what did he do? Sweet salad. Okay. Um... Okay, come on. This is this is the deciding one. Come on, spicy cake. Spicy cake. They loved my spicy cake. Good, good, good. Yay! I think I maybe have squeaked by this time. Da, da, de, da, da, da. Yay! Victory! Bum, ba, da. Well, I'm afraid it's time to shove a boozel up my butt. Damn it. <laughs> well, hi -o, do you still intend to give up on cooking? Antonio, that was the most fun cook-off I've ever had! I was wrong! No matter how hard it gets, I'll defend the Moonbird recipe! Well said, this is the great chef hi -o that I remembered. I can't believe it. I was sure that I could beat you. I didn't expect you to regain your old skills so quickly. What, what's that supposed to mean? Gekuron! Those brothers! It can't be! Well, he got pretty serious when I told him he would have nowhere to go home if he lost to you. <laughs> that was almost enough to get you to return the Moonbird recipe to us, eh? I, I won't forget this, Gekuron! It's between you and me now! <laughs> as you wish. I accept your challenge, but I'm not quite prepared today, so I'll see you next time. Until then, you'd better best study your cookbooks carefully. That will be a hard battle, Hayo. You're right, of course. But don't worry, I won't fail. That's the spirit. Hayo, I want you to have this. 
you got the ramen recipe, and everyone apparently loves ramen, so maybe I'll just make that over and over next time. <laughs> okay, well, something tells me the uh, end boss on the cooking thing is coming up, so we'll be done with that whole subplot pretty soon. Suggestion box? Oh, how are you doing? Yo, how you doing? No message in particular, just thought I'd say hi. Fantastic letter. I'm strong, and I can use magic. I know you must be happy to have... Wait, this is way too... <laughs> I'm strong, and I can use magic. I know you must be happy to have me on your side, but I don't like it when you take me out of the party. Got it, Gregor Zamza? Great, if I ever have a need for a giant beetle, I'll be sure to call you. Okay, we're going to save again. And that's it for today, guys. Wow. A lot of stuff happened this time. What will happen next? What evil machinations does Joey have in store for us? How is he going to top Luca Blight on the villainy scale? Find out next time! And remember to click like, and remember to subscribe... And remember to see you guys later when we come back next time on Let's Play Suikoden 2. Later, guys. <laughs>